Story of How Ken Waiwa Was Killed Story of Ken Sara Waiwa, 1941-1995 How he fought for the Niger Delta and how he was hanged with eight other activists Kenyul, or Ken, Sara Waiwa was an environmental activist, author, and television producer. He was born in Bori, a small town in the Niger Delta, his father, Jim Waiwa, was a chief of the Agoni people, an ethnic minority in the Delta region. He received the honorary title Asaro, meaning, eldest son. In the 1950s, Waiwa witnessed the initial entrance of foreign oil companies and the beginning of the extraction of crude oil in the Niger Delta region. Excelling in school at a young age, he left the Niger Delta to attend the government college in Amwahia in eastern Nigeria, on a scholarship to study English. He attended the University of Abadan, where he received an honors degree in English Waiwa was there when the Nigerian Civil War began in 1967, and for the duration of the war he supported the Nigerian opposition to the Bia Franz. Despite his opposition to the Civil War, Waiwa was appointed administrator of the oil depot at Bonnie Island in the Niger Delta in 1968. In 1969, he became the regional commissioner for education in the Rivers State Cabinet but was dismissed from his position in 1973 after he began calling for autonomy for the Agoni people. His writings became increasingly political, bringing national and international attention to the Agoni's struggle. During the mid-1980s, Waiwa primarily concentrated on writing, publishing, and television production. His first book Soza Boy, a novel in rotten English, published in 1985, was a fictionalized account of the corrupt Nigerian army during the Civil War. In 1989, he released his war diaries in a book titled On a Darkling Plain. He wrote two novels that explored the position of women in Nigerian society, Adiku and other stories, published in 1989 and Lamona's Tale, published posthumously in 1996. Waiwa additionally tried his hand in television. He produced the popular series Basie and Company that ran from 1985 until 1992, when it was cancelled by the military dictatorship. By the early 1990s, Waiwa shifted his focus from literature and television to issues of human rights and environmental preservation, particularly in his home region Ogonaland, the center of crude oil extraction by multinational corporations operating in Nigeria. He established and led the movement for the survival of Agoni people, Mosop, and relatedly, the campaigns against the Royal Dutch Shell Company, demanding that the company share the profits of oil extraction in January 1993. Waiwa and the Mosop lead a series of peaceful marches in which an estimated 300,000 Agoni people participated. For the first time, the marches drew significant international attention to the plight of the Agoni. After a series of arrests in 1992 and 1993, Waiwa was among nine Agoni human rights and environmental activists who were tried in a kangaroo court by the military government of General Sani Abachi and hanged on November 10, 1995. The Royal Dutch Shell Company was implicated in the execution of Ken Sara Waiwa and on June 8, 2009, the company agreed to a settlement of $15.5 million, ending a series of lawsuits that accused it of financing and providing logistical support for the execution. Despite the settlement, Shell denied any connection to the death of Ken Sara Waiwa. The names of the eight activists hanged with Waiwa are Saturday Dobi, Nordu Iwo. Daniel Buko, Paul Levera, Felix Newitt, Bara Berbera, Baranam Kayabel, and John Queen. Thank you for watch. Share to educate others.